Hello there YouTube. Uh, it's now winter here in Finland, January, and uh, I was thinking about making my boat uh, a bit more a bit more comfortable during the uh, during the spring and the uh, the fall. On land it's warm, but once you get on the sea, it's pretty cold over there. So. To make my boat a little, little bit warmer during the not so warm days, I've decided to make a, make a heater that is not using electricity at all. Last summer I got rid of the um, the um, the heater that was using fuel because I don't want to use any fuels on my boat. That's the uh, the idea behind this project to not use any fuels. Only a uh, renewable energy like sun, wind, yeah. But I can use wood to warm my boat, so that's where I got the idea to make a heater. So this is gonna be my heat box. I'm gonna put it over here. Uh, Put the um, what do you call it? The exhaust pipe? No, it's not exhaust pipe. But yeah, you know, you got the idea. This flu or something. Yeah. To come over here, and I'm using the uh, the hole that I already got over there, which is the hole for the uh, ventilation. Yeah. And this is just gonna be the the box that gets heated. Inside of that I'm gonna put a wood gas stove. This is my first prototype. I tested it uh, yesterday, it was working. But I'm gonna make a bigger or buy a bigger one of these like camping wood gas stoves and put it inside there. But first I have to make modifications to the, uh, the ammo can. But, and also I'm gonna burn pellets, wood pellets. This one here burns around half an hour and then the uh, it's gonna produce heat of for another 30 minutes. So, yeah. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but let's see. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go to the store and pick up some stuff and then I'm gonna go to my dad's and start welding and drilling and grinding this to my heat box. Okay, so I got here to my mom and dad's place and uh, yeah, I went shopping, bought some stuff, here's what I got. First one is the uh, step drill. Is to make big holes. Some clamps for the uh, the flue. And here some insulation uh, rope. Uh, glass fiber for the uh, the uh, this hatch. And put it. There was a rubber. A gasket, something, yeah. The insulation thing was over here, but I took it off. I got this. Uh, this is for feeding the uh, the flu to the um, the box. Here's the flu. It's aluminum. It's bendable, and also it stretches quite a bit. So I think it's gonna be enough. What else? Yes, these are for attaching the flu to the uh, to the uh, air ventilation hole that I got on the uh, the roof of my my cabin on my boat. And I also got this. Uh, it's the um, infrared thermos thermometer thermometer. Thermometer, yeah, 
for measuring the temperatures so I can I can uh, yeah know what's 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 happening over here so I can get even enough temperature and also that I'm not losing any any of the uh, heat going out to the air from the flu so yeah what else yeah here's the uh, yeah, so the idea is to put this I'm gonna make a bigger one once this is ready but I'm, I'm gonna test it this now with this one it's gonna be the uh, the wood gas stove is gonna be on this side then I'm gonna make a wall from yeah I also bought this sheet metal over here I'm gonna weld that make uh, slices of that I'm gonna make like like inner like a baffle wall what do you call it here so the um, the hot uh, air and the flames also they're gonna come here then they are forced to go down there's one wall over here another wall over here and there's a small cap on here so it can go under that wall and then it comes up and I'm gonna put the uh, flu pipe coming from somewhere in here on the side so that's the plan first I'm gonna make the hole for the flu yeah okay so now I got the uh, hole done for the, uh, the flu and also I got the um, the piece that is working over here. Next I'm gonna weld it on. Also I made an uh, attachment that it's gonna attach it to the uh, to the other pole that I got coming down from the uh, the mast. It's not the mast, it's just the other uh, support thing that is coming from the ceiling to the uh, where the keel is yeah so I'm using my old fire extinguisher holder that was on I bought a new one that was old and I found out that uh, this is it's kind of probably fit it's like 10 centimeters across here which is the, uh, the diameter of that and the pole coming down from the ceiling is eight centimeters but I think I can squeeze it to fit so it's gonna be fast and clean attachment because I'm gonna use these rubber bands that were on the uh, extinguisher I'm gonna put this and there and then I'm gonna quickly I can put it uh, around the pole and then it's gonna be still there and it's easy to take off if I don't need it so it's not on the way because the boat is kind of small so anything that uh, doesn't have to be permanently attached to the uh, interior of the boat it's better so yeah that's the plan next some welding
Okay, so this is the first burn. I got the uh, the wood gas stove inside, burning pretty good. Here I'm gonna design the uh, air intake uh, disc where you can turn and adjust the uh, amount of air coming in. But I don't have the disc yet, so I just made the uh, hole. As you can see, it's burning the the paint inside or there oh, I think it's now the uh, the adhesive what do you call the uh, oh the glue from the uh, sticker I think it's burning now there's also uh, a little bit of steam but I think also it's might be the um, smoke from the paint yeah and we can see the uh, temperatures. Where's my meter over here? Now oh, it's 270 degrees Celsius over the top. On that side. It's pretty even on this side, which is good. So, the uh, pellets have burned out, and uh, let's see what's inside. Now, on this, this was the first test burn. I have only one inner wall going around here, so the hot air is coming up over there. And there's a uh, one inch, uh, one uh, two and a half uh, centimeter cap over there, so it can uh, the hot air can go over the uh, the inner wall, and then they go down from this flue. They go up. Now I'm gonna put two more inner walls over there. So I'm gonna force the hot air to go like this, and then get out. So I can trap more heat inside. Oh, that it's sh it should do that. I'm not sure, but let's see. Now let's check the inside first. Let's see how hard is the. Uh... Oh, it's sixty, seventy, eighty. So it's pretty hard the uh, handle. Charcoal over there. It's only 100 degrees on that side, which is I think it burned some of the. Uh, Fiberglass rope over there. Oh, that was it. Let's see you tomorrow. Hello, welcome back. Uh, I forgot to take my camera with me on the second day when I was building my the heater stove thing. But I didn't do that much. Now on my boat, back on my boat. Here's the stuff that I did on the second day. I added these two side walls, no side walls, well, inside walls over here.
to make the uh, there's a cap down over there you can see so that the uh, hot air goes up down and up again and then down and out of the uh, the flue so and also I did this air adjustment intake air and also I worked at this a little bit better because but I also found out that the um, the inner walls are making the um, the drag for the hot air a little bit more a little bit too difficult so I need to get the um, the wood stove wood gas stove to get this one burn a while so that it was burning really good until I could put it down there mm, with a smaller flame it couldn't start the drag so it would start the smoke and the smoke would come out from here and from here so this is the walls were just to to make it capture more the heat before it comes out but yeah I think I'm gonna try to tear out this wall to make it to make the drag a little bit better I finally got it out a lot of twisting and turning and hammering but yeah I think I'm gonna try it out here first then put it inside or maybe go straight to inside I'm not sure let's see so I'm gonna do a test burn here outside on the cockpit I'm gonna use this um, it's like a gel flammable gel full fuel gel fuel I'm gonna put this around the pellets Once it starts to burn and um, gasify, I'm gonna put it inside this. What do you call that? Inside the box. Okay, I think it's starting to burn. Good enough for me to. Okay, let's see what happens once I close the, uh, the lid. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah. Just when I was about to be sure that it's... I just dropped, dropped on one match over there and it started to burn again. So. Let's try it again.
think it's working now. I think it just needs a little bit of help. Blowing from the, uh, the air intake holes. Gets it burning. And gets the drag going. And now it's too great. And there's no smoke coming out of the, the flue. Okay, so I didn't have the patience to, to wait, make the test burn outside. I just took it inside, put the flue on, goes over there, there's the, um, the uh, ventilation thing over there. I'm just using the same hole, don't have to make another hole. And uh, the attachment to the uh, sensor pole is by the uh, old uh, fire extinguisher that I got so I'm using those rubber bands I'm gonna modify the to be a little bit a little bit more secure otherwise I think it's going okay now we can take some temperature readings 180 90 degrees Celsius trying to see if there's any smoke coming inside I'm not sure I hope not yeah so I think it's working that was just a small amount of pellets that I put on fire so if this works okay. I'm gonna make another set and burn that and after that we can see how how the thing how the stove warms up this place. Okay, so I've now burned two sets of the uh two cans of pellets. Uh the first one was uh, kind of like a half a can just for the testing. And the second one I put it on uh, kind of full, but it didn't uh, it didn't uh, start to fire and the uh, gasification that quickly, so I had to burn a while outside before I brought it in. But yeah, now this um, I think it burned out a while ago. See the uh, temperatures; it's uh, 86. Yeah, no, it's not warm any. It's just well, it's warm from here, but not up there anymore. The temperature almost four degrees, so not that much, but it's pretty cold outside. So yeah, it's not working that that uh, efficient that I thought it would. I thought it would be a lot more warmer inside after burning that, but it's not. I might have to make a bigger can inside to make it produce more heat. But yeah, let's see. Well, that's gonna be on the second part of this video. I think I'm gonna edit this out because it's gonna take more time to me to to test and build the um, the bigger wood gas stove can to put inside but yeah and uh, I'm not sure if there's some smoke there's a funny smell inside and if you can see the uh, it was some Well, no. Just thinking if you can. Well, you can see. Let's turn off this off. Well, yeah. As you can see, you can see the uh, laser, which means that there's there's smoke inside, or it's something, yeah. So, yeah, 
A little bit smoke inside. Laser, laser. Light on. Well, now it's over 3 degrees Celsius here. Now well, it's, yeah. It's getting warmer and warmer here. But I have to come back to this later on. Once I made the um, bigger, bigger can to burn more pellets and produce more heat. But yeah, this has been my uh, wood pellet burning heater on a sailboat. I hope you like the video. I'm gonna make a second part once I've uh, tested it more and um, yeah, and maybe third part later on one side got the boat out of the dry dock to put uh, on the water After that I'm gonna maybe do another one which shows the uh, the real situation on how I'm gonna use this heater and also some test about heating water or something on top of this because it gets a pretty pretty hot over there. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.